Hello guys, today we're doing a video and we're going to see if the RTX 4090 slash 4080 or 4080 12 gig as well, there's a 16 gig and 12 gig variant, um, we're going to be seeing if these are actually worth it or if they're a quote unquote scam. Because I've seen some stuff, I've seen some videos already, I'm not going to be copying those videos, but basically right here in your bottom left-ish, these three, Resident Evil Village, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and The Division 2, don't have DLSS 3.0, whereas these titles do, um, and then along with these titles. So, the majority of the performance that is coming from 40 series is coming from DLSS 3.0, which is great, but... I saw some stuff on it that says, um, it won't say it right here, so I'll just go back up for a second. So basically, Resident Evil Village, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and The Division 2 are the three games that do not have DLSS 3.0. So, you can see that 3090 is better than the 4080 12 gigabyte because that would be technically a 4070, more on that in a minute, um, and then the 4080, the actual 4080, the 16 gig, is about t roughly 20, 25% better than the 3090 Ti. Um, and the 4090 is about 50 or 60% better than the 3090 Ti, so that is big performance jumps. And I know that it does have, instead of NVENC encoders, it's got uh, AVI, or AV1 encoders. I'm sorry, I don't know which one, is, or which one it is. Um, but I've heard those are a lot better. A lot faster, a lot more powerful. So that's really cool, even though the NVENC encoders are already very good. Um, but, so basically, the 4080 12 gig is on the 80104 die. And if you look in past generations, the 104s are normally the 4070s. Or like the 70 series, like the 1070, the 2070, 3070. Those are normally 80104. Um, or end in 104. And so, this would be 103, and then the, be 102, that's not there. Or, this is the 102, actually. And then the full die would be the 4090 Ti. So, <clears throat> more or less, they changed their naming scheme. And so, basically, for what is technically a 4070, named a 4080, is $900, when a 3080 was 600 when it came out. So, there is a big price jump. It, not as much for the 4090, it's only $100 more, um, but the 4080 is $1,200, so that's double the price of last 4080, this is the actual 4080, but then the 4070, 4080, the 12 gig variant, is technically $900, and I think the 3070 was 4 or 5, so there's, there's a big price jump when you're not buying at the top, um, so I, I'm really wondering if this is if it's actually going to be truly next-gen performance, or if it's just misleading. But, back to the DLSS 3.0 thing, I do not know if it'll show in here, but basically, it's frame generation, um, instead of super resolution, so it doesn't take the existing frames, and basically does stuff with them, it, um, integrates new frames before they happen, so it adds latency. So basically, they said that um, NVIDIA Reflex um, would basically get rid of the frame generation latency. So, but there would still be a little extra and you wouldn't have the benefits of DLSS 2 with NVIDIA Reflex because that just lowers latency plus gives you better frames instead of giving you extra better frames with latency. I know it's a lot, I know it's a mouthful and I'm sorry. I'm trying to spit this out the best way that I can that's understandable. Um, and I know I'm paraphrasing a lot. I really don't want to read through this whole thing. It's pretty long. Um, so it is going to run off PCIe 5.0, which is really cool. It's going to be a lot of bandwidth. Um, Alright, so I found what I was looking for. Um, it's not to do with RTX Remix, um, but they're called Optical Flow Accelerators. Um, and they've been highly improved over um, Turing and Ampere, which are 20 and 30 series cards. Um, 
And yeah, basically it just helps uh, DLS 3.0 actually run um, like how it's supposed to. And that's why they're not implementing on 20 and 30 series cards. Um, so DLS 3.0 will only be on 40 series cards because of the upgraded optical flow accelerators. RTX Remix is a reverse game engine that basically takes in all the assets that are loaded and they're available to upscale and play with, but it only works with what it has. It doesn't add anything new. It just upscales and re-renders and does some stuff with the existing materials that are in the game. Illusion RTX 40 series cards may or may not be uh, a leap in performance. It seems like realistically we'll have about a 50 to 70 percent increase from the 4090 to the 3090 Ti. With NVIDIA's magic of DLSS 3.0, it looks like it's going to be up to four times the performance at the cost of some latency. So other than that, DLSS 3.0 is only on RTX 40 series. It does look like it's going to have a lot of benefits, but it could have some drawbacks as well. The cards have a really high power rating. Uh, TGP, TDP is like 660 watts for the 4090, sorry. Um, and it looks like they're doing some good work with AV1 encoders. And yeah, overall, the cards could be really good. They could be a flop. Who really knows? We'll know soon. Yep.